Hello, a gentleman gamer here, and today we're playing Eve Online, and today's patch day. So this is uh, the first part of uh, the new industry changes, and some people are excited, some people are panicking. I guess you can panic and also be excited, I guess. Um, but uh, people have been talking about uh, the effects on the market the last week or so. So I guess we'll see within, uh, what's the first part? I'm not sure when the second part of it is going to drop, but... I think blueprints, I think, were in introduced at this point. I think. I'm not much of an interested person, so. But no, that was a big thing. But for me, this patch was uh, more exciting because CCP added a bunch of new stuff. Uh, they redud, re redud, redid, <laughs> redid some of the, the relic and data sites to be uh, me more uh, racially uh, distinct, which is cool. So I want to take a look at those. They also uh, added some new uh, landmarks, which are interesting. Um, they also redid a bit of the graphics for the uh, the, um, the uh, wormhole in New Eden, um, which is very, very cool. I'm a little far away to see that one today, but I, definitely on my list. Um, it's a whole bunch of stuff. And uh, so I'm also, I read someone, t I, read, I listened somewhere, I think it was Marky Dragon, talked about a, it must I think it's reading patch notes. It must be in the patch notes, but a, a hidden monument, which I am not sure <laughs> what that means, but I'm curious about that. But for today, uh, since I was already in Kaldari Losek uh, doing um, looking for uh, uh, hunt sites, um, I figured I will start. Uh, I would do, I wasn't doing an exploration run through Kaldari Losek, but when this dropped, uh, I read that uh, CCP added a unique gate. Um, for Old Man Star. Uh, now, there's a whole chronicle explaining how we got its name, because I, I think it was called, uh, what is it called? I'm talking to you, Uprium, the, the system Old Man Star is known as now. Um, but at, uh, after the, uh, but with the chronicle, they renamed it Old Man Star. So they renamed a gate there, uh, that's a, a gate from Old Man Star to Valor, uh, and they updated it. To fit the chronicle, which is fantastic. It really, it really, like making it like it looks like uh, they described it in the chronicle would probably be amazing. So I figured I'm about seven jumps out for Old Man Star. I was, at first, I was thinking about I'm going right to New Eden. I want to see uh, the new effects they put in, and uh, some people said you can see them from farther away now, like um, kind of like uh, matter of fact. Oh, also this. See how you kind of you can see Caroline Star over here. That actually got changed. Actually, got bigger. I think it's like spreading out now um, but it's like that so I think from central point central point you can start seeing um, uh, the super massive wormhole in uh, from New Eden so it's like what three jumps out I think which is pretty cool um, so stuff like that so we're gonna try to make uh, we're in uh, what is it faction warfare space it's been fairly quiet in this system a viator sneaky sneaky um, <laughs> and this is some last, but there's three signatures here. So I'm hoping I'll make the seven jumps, hopefully not die, and hopefully see the the new gate. Hopefully. So let's get started. No more talking. I'm still in my Helios. I'm a big fan of this ship right now. I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to miss it when they finally make a symmetrical. But, oh well. We'll deal with that when that happens, huh? All right, we're no one in local, which is quite, 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 quite great for exploration. Let's uh, go to the D scan. I was using that for um, uh, hunting the little pods. I think I have some spare keys left in there. I'm not sure what they're, they're not really worth anything now. So I think I'll just leave them in my inventory somewhere. And then in about, you know, six months, I'll look, what? Why do I have these things in Old Man Star? And I'll be like, oh yeah. I wandered in there to see the gate and I left my keys. <laughs> All right, good stuff, guys. A wormhole, not what I need today. We have a very specific mission, which is kind of rare for me. Usually I wander around until either I make money or die. Usually I die. I get in too much trouble with my exploration ships. Alright, nothing. 
I'm quite curious to find out how much information they actually have on the Old Man Star Gate. I'm kind of hoping there's like the Chronicle in the description or something. Because that would be cool because it, 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 if it made it look like it, it's in the Chronicle, it's going to look really different than most gates. Ooh, a data site. Well, I, sh I shouldn't be that excited about it. It's more like, oh, it's a data site. But, you know, maybe they'll drop a cool blueprint or something. You never know. A secret blueprint. But we will get to see some of the changes they made uh, to the site. It's supposed to be a bit more accurate for the race it's in. So hopefully that looks cool. Oop, no. Not yet. That'd be less sloppy. I'm being super sloppy right now, see? I'm not zooming in. Alright. Data mine. Okay, let's zoom in and go on that one. Okay, let's start sc scanning this one as we travel. But I'm really hoping they put some of the information on the gate because the chronicle is actually really good. I'm gonna put it in the description. It's one. Of, it's actually a super old chronicle. I'm not sure how old it is. But I know it's one of the first ones I've read. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, I guess I give you a best synopsis of this, just in case. CCP did the CCP thing and not put any information on there. Um, but it's about... Um, the story is about uh, how they put Stargates up in the past. Uh, in the past, uh, before Jumpgate drives. So what they would do is they would send a, an advance ship out. And I think and on the uh, at the point of time they wrote the Chronicle, uh, the crew, they I think the fastest they can get out there was like 30% of light speed. So, for the destination they were going for, um, in the system of Upria, which is now known as Old Man Star. Oh, nothing there. That makes it easy. We can just pull pros in. Uh, it would take in like, I think it was like 33 years or something, if I remember properly. I should have read the Chronicle. Let's take a look at the system. Uh, looks pretty normal. Normal-ish. I don't see anything fancy about it. Let's see. Look over here. Oh, it looks pretty cool. It looks, does it look uh, called Dari E? I guess. Oh, whatever. Good enough. I said. Oh, these look different. They're like glowing. That's weird. They look like camouflage. <laughs> Maybe that's what we're going for here. All right. So we'll do this. Got some more bit. Nothing on local. Okay. So what they would do? They would send these ships out. So it took them like 33 or 40 years, whatever. And then when they get there, they would you know, build the gate and then activate it from the other side. Uh, but in the Chronicle, um, I think what would happen is that at some point they, they invented jump, uh, jump drives. Ooh, cool. That is neat. Look at it. It's all red and broken-y. Look at it. I made a mess. It's my stuff now, now so Talacan Automation. What's this? What is this? Oh, he uses to make a uh, faction, not faction, storyline stuff. Okay, taking it. Um, so what was I? I keep losing track of deep doing things. Um, so so yeah, so at some point they invented jump drives and they started retrofitting these old ships, which they used to use, uh, you know, to to ship people out for you know decades at a time. Um, but I guess some of some of the refits didn't work too well. Some of the ships are too old. So sometimes they have like problems or malfunctions, and the, the ship that went out to uh, Upria, I hope I'm saying that right, that went out to Upria had one of these malfunctions, um, and what I think it was some sort of miscalculation on the jump, but they jumped in way off course. Ooh, trouble. Ooh, ooh, maybe trouble. They jumped off way off course, and then they ended up. Uh, uh, careening into an asteroid belt and they got hit with a an asteroid head on um, and that killed most of the crew except for one guy which I can't think of his name right so I with the D um, and 
and he had to find he had like a like a story um, like The Martian. If you ever read The Martian or watched the movie The Martian, um, he kind of had a story like that, where like he had to like figure out how to survive. What's this stuff? That's different. Okay, might be new materials. Maybe we need uh, for industry stuff. So there's a whole like part of the chronicle where he's trying to figure out how to make food, you know, how to make you know enough oxygen. And he wasn't exactly near um, the sun, I, I don't believe. So he's trying to figure out other ways to do that. So a big part of the chronicle is him figuring out how to do that. And after he figured all that stuff out, I believe in the chronicle he actually figures out that he can, um, I guess, maneuver the ship using, I think if I remember properly, using. Um, like the uh, the, uh, it, the like each ship they gave out was just, like still at the tail end of the Kaldari Galenti War, so each ship I guess they have like some sort of like small amount of missiles on them, so I get, I, I'm pretty sure he used those to move the ship into position to where the Stargate was supposed to go, uh, and after he uh, did that properly, he like used uh, uh, the drones and all that kind of Galenti technology that he's also finagling with to use the asteroid belt and kind of build the gate, kind of jerry-rigged. Oop, someone came in all, all suspecty or criminally. Who is this? No idea who this guy is. And, uh, and then at some point he actually builds the gate with the drones, drones help. He activates it and I, I guess it like the whatever ship he's in limps through. <laughs> To the surprise of everyone on the other side in Valor. And I guess uh, from that point on. Ooh. Ooh, jeez. That's not good. Ooh, that's not good either. Uh, ooh, that's not good either. That's on D scan. Oh, useful. Yeah, they can do that all the time. I'm good now. I like the red effect. That's cool. Nothing on D-Scan. So he, he uh, actually gets it turned on, and then he limps his ship through, and he's uh, quite famous, obviously, because everyone thought that uh, that mission um, to Upria was pretty much lost. They they kind of written it off as, okay, well, it, everyone died. <laughs> so um, I think that also that guy, um, he actually, was it? He actually um, founded a corporation in EVE, the Creon, Creon Do, or I forget the name of it. It's a Galenti one. Anything involving drones, you know, it's, that's the guy. And uh, so he became very famous, very wealthy. And they named the, uh, he was so famous, they named the system after him. So it wasn't Upri anymore, it was uh, Old Man Star. I kind of mangled that. I should have read the Chronicle before I made the video again, but. It's a bit of a. Ooh, I made a boo boo. I went too fast. Um, can I clear this? Alright. But I do like that chronicle. Oh, cool. Is Zygma? Zygma. I haven't used one of those in a while. What is this? No one's in system. Take a look at this. What is this? Uh, condenser molecule fuels. Ah, yeah. oh, these might be some of the new stuff they need for the industry. Huh. Yes, yeah, for reactions. Yeah, this is new. I've never seen this before. Neat. All right. Well, I'm doing my part. All right. Let's get through here. But hopefully, CCP have put something in the description, so I don't have to. You don't have to go off of my uh, my rambly uh, uh, version of the Necronicle. Again, data site stuff, never that good, but okay. I still have my uh, DED informants in here as well. Uh, so we just uh, let's take a look here. Five, yeah, about three. Nothing crazy, but some, I got that blueprint for that Zygma if I want to 
uh, batten down the hatches and actually build something. All right, next system. Since no one's in local, we don't have to do any uh, celestial jumping off points, so let's go right to it. Most of the time when you're in a low sec and you see people in local, you definitely want to actually we'll reload this. We're going. You definitely want to bounce off a planet or something. Make sure you're not uh, getting gate um, smart bombed. Three in local. Four signatures, okay. And tropic disintegrators. Oh, we're in a, a triangle system. Okay, I haven't been here before, so I need to make some some bookie marks. So we'll go uh, pick a random moon. Go at a uh, hundred. Drop probes, cloak. Just we'll send them off. Let's make a safe point here on the way. Right about now? Yeah, now sounds good. Sunusis. Sunusis. Big fan of that ship. That's a really good hauler. If you fit it properly, you can get it below two seconds, and it has quite a bit of cargo hold, which is great for low sec hauling. Of course, you know, be careful of smart bombs, because this is a destroyer, not exactly super tanked. But most situations, if you're careful, it's quite sufficient. Let's go back to the safe spot I just made. Rattlesnake. Somebody scares him, I guess. Combat site? Nope. Combat site? Nope. Alright, got a couple of those out of the way. Oop. One more local. Nothing more on D scan at the moment. Let's go for this one, I guess. I don't think we can get both of them in a scan. They're too far away. So I'm gonna have to do this one by one. I should probably zoom in. If I'm not too sloppy, it'll save me time. Okay. Oop, wrong button. I hit D scan by accident. I have my uh, my all key. Uh, obviously, the all key is for moving. If you hold it down, you can move the probes. But I, I uh, changed my hotkey for D scan to my space bar. So, adventure. I can kill something with <laughs> adventure. See, this is, this is why I lose ships because I want to try to kill that thing now. But I have a mission. You know, I can't just wander around and get lose this uh, Helios. I keep trying to say Imicus before I see the gate. Oh, but it's gone. Oh. Ah, see, I got no choice now. I have to keep doing it. I can't, I can't lose my ship stupidly to a venture. I have noticed with the, the Helios, they don't tend to run away. Something has a a, hist, a, uh, a reputation of killing things. But I can kill a venture in this thing. I know that. <laughs> but then my Astero, though, as soon as you decloak, man, they book it like, oh, an Astero. Probably a good time to unstable wormhole. No, nope, they made the decision for me. We need to get to Kadama, which I remember properly. It's usually busy. Uh, okay, let's just reload these. Is there anything? Let's look at this one. Is there anything we can bounce off to? Yeah, we can bounce off that. Just we have a nice little perch for descanning. I also make sure there's no uh, gay camp there. I'm not I'm not super familiar with uh, Kodari Faction Warfare Space, so I do not want to um, stupidly just you know gate gate go gate a gate and get blown up. Whoa! What is this? Oh, <laughs> Triglavians! I forgot. So what are they doing? They just like scan everything. I saw a shack. Ouch. Oh, they're scanning stuff. Kind of like the, um, the Lancers. Man, that's, that looks nasty. All right. D-scan. Nothing on D-scan. So we're going for it. We are going for it. I wonder how much trouble these things cause for, for the uh, faction warfare space. 
What else did they give it? They gave it bonus remote armor repair. Also remote shield boost. You go actually go slower and warp though. Ouch. Okay. Also, I'm not sure if these. Oh, that was loud. That was weird. <laughs> that was really loud. All right. Okay, nothing on D scan. We have Garistas. I'm more used to those trying to kill me. We have a bunch of sites though. I've never been here before, so we gotta do some more bookmarking. Find that one with the moons. Yeah, let's go to a random moon. We'll go to 100 this time. Drop probes. This. We're just gonna just get them off the grid here. I'm gonna hit Control B, make a safe spot, and now. There we go, far enough away. Fantastic. Someone just went uh, suspect, ooh, a daredevil. I heard they give the best hugs. See, look at them. Look at those arms. Perfect for giving hugs, premium hugs even. And uh, also they get a, a bonus to have the fire effectiveness. So if you got this trained up, you get like, what, 100% <laughs> webs, which is just, just painful. They hit that, and if you have like blasters on these, it's just lots of DPS right to the face. I think I had one of those. I actually bought one to do uh, an old video. Let's get back to the safe spot here. An old video where people are RPing, and uh, I was in the Daredevil holding down the Drifter battleship. And I, I think I made it mad and it alphaed me. <laughs> it was fun though. It was a fun little, fun little uh, operation. It's the Operation Trimera. Trimera, I think it was. It's an old video. All right, Daredevil still on scan. Let's see if we can look at any one of these in one shot. Maybe in the middle of these three. Get enough information, because if they're combat ones, usually we can get them down in pretty short order. Let's see if we can figure it out what they are. Not both of those. Actually, pretty close. Ooh, ooh, close. Oh. <laughs> Someone was fighting, huh? Did the Daredevil. Daredevil 1. It looks like a cell on D scan. Be careful in low sec. Be careful in low sec. I wonder what the story is behind that. I want to know. Guys, tell me. Who messed up? It wasn't me this time. Alright. Oh, wait. Vigil fleet issue and a daredevil. Got one bigger than the other now. Oof, I don't think I get both of them. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Okay. I need more need more backup drones. Oh maybe uh maybe it was a stalemate, maybe one ran off. We'll only speculate at this point. A malediction as well. Careful if the fleet going around, they might be gate camping. But the gate I need to go is actually pretty far away. Wormhole? Okay, we don't need that. I don't mind getting wormholes right now, because my ultimate goal is seeing that gate. I don't want to die. That was very cordial. Very cordial uh, post, I'm assuming, fight dialogue. <laughs> Wormhole, okay. Alright, so those are no goes. I guess we get this one. Less uh, scrolling over time. We got a D scan. We got the Daredevil still, the Vigil Fleet issue, and then Malediction. I wonder if they're together. Let's see. Member of Sons of Luminaire. Hmm, okay. Who's this person? Perforet? Perforet. That sounds familiar. Uh, let's see. Quake. Any more Sons of Luminaire? Shadow Cartel. I know they're a pretty big name here around Losek. They warped. I'm only 
really seeing that guy so far. Shadow Cartel again, though. Okay. All right. All right. I didn't get up very far. More split, split signals. What's closer? I think this one's closer to the asteroid belt here. Oop, another spike in local boys. Should I leave it there? Let's leave it there. See if we can get a, um, a Lashak <laughs> and Vedmac. Oh boy. Oh boy, okay. Some bigger toys. Especially out of the shack. Alright, at least I got it down to one signature now. But let's lower the range a bit so now we can uh, try to figure out what this is. The shacks are pretty cool. I never owned one. But all the trig shapes look pretty cool. Wormhole. Okay, we don't need you. That bigger. That's pretty cool. Let's find out. Let's see if we can get it. I thought you quit, Roy. Me too. Harpy now. Alright, if they are gate camping, which I don't think they're doing, but if they are, they're not on my gate. What is. Well, they're split now. I'm not sure which. Oh, this one. Definitely this one. I didn't realize there was a gate there. Drop it a bit. Combat site? No. Well, that's the last one. We'll see if this is mass anything. And we gotta if not, we gotta find a safe way out. It's a little easier in low sec, which is closer to a celestial. I don't know, they're all kind of far away. I'll just try to scan, see if we get any closer. Keep an eye on D-scan here. Quite, quite the, uh... Quite the, uh, ooh. Okay, no. <laughs> I thought these scan got way more full. Uh, no, just my probes coming into range. Alright. Local is getting kind of full. So we have to watch out for that. Still the Shack, Daredevil, Vedmac, that Harpy. I'm right, trying to zoom in. It's taking way too long to scan this down. Got to be more careful. All right, drop the range again. Camera. What is this? <laughs> Why is it taking so long to scan down? Alright. It's taking a long time to scan down. Why is this so hard? Looks like a sleeper cache site. <laughs> <laughs> if it is, I can't run in this ship. I need my Astero. I need a sort of... Well, actually, maybe I could. I don't know. I've done it in a long time. Well, oh, too many times. As long as you have the right... Um, as long as you know how to run it, nothing really damages you. I just don't remember if I know how to run it or not. It's been so long time. I haven't found one forever. It's a data site. It's a data site. It could be a... It could be a regular, maybe a high-level uh, faction data site, or it could be just a, uh, it could be a sleeper cache. I feel more comfortable with my Astero because I have the, I have, like, reppers and everything in there. I, this one I don't. It's kind of a bit more tight. It's a standard. No, I can't, <laughs> I can't run a standard. I need uh, my Legion, I guess, for that. And plus, I'm not even sure I can scan down all the way. I needed upgrades last time. So this one will have to go, because I cannot run standard ones in this ship. Alright, well that solves it for us. Let's, uh, 
let's take a look at the gate going out here. We do have some options here, so let's pick a let's pick this customs customs office. We'll do it at seventy this time. And we will keep an INT scan. I'm not sure where they're at. Maybe they're in the open one. Was this open outpost? Maybe they're there camping it. See, nothing on these can this time. So nothing's camping. We should take advantage of that. And keep going. Let's reload these on the way. We'll be slightly, uh, slightly vulnerable. So see us. And nothing seems to be anywhere nearby. Anyway, according to D scan, I know when I was um, trying to run those hunt master sites in my retribution, uh, a sneaky uh, player was using a combat. Uh, Lots of signatures again. Yeah, nothing on D scan, so let's pick. Maybe we can kind of do this all in one shot here. Let's take a look at this. Be mindful of the. Uh... Why can't I look at it? Where is it? Hold on. I'm not looking at my ship. Is that what's going on here? <laughs> I don't know what happened. Be mindful of the, of the cloak timer, but here we go. Let's go to this customs office at 100 this time. Drop probes, cloak. Maybe drop a safe, just in case. Right now. Change that up. Get those moving. It's a badger, a shuttle. That's a NPC hauler, it looks like now. Okay, so let's just move off of here like this. See, now we're... If we do this more often, just save a jump. So right now we're 33 off. And we have nothing on D-Scan so far. So we keep an eye on the gate while we're doing this. Alright, let's do this. Alright, I'm trying to drop in the middle again. See if we can get a good amount of information on him. Let's see if we can find out. Keep an eye on D-Scan, though. Just that shuttle, which I'm, I'm not even sure it's... Um, I think it must be, like, abandoned or something. Oh, we got two. Uh, oh, they're kind of far away. Yeah, uh, <laughs> that didn't help us this time. All right. Sometimes you just get, like, just enough information to get rid of, like, half your signatures. But not this time. Nothing on D-Scan. Wormhole? Nope, don't need you. Okay, keep an eye on this one now. I should probably get... I know they make some implants that make scanning a little easier. Since I don't uh, use it to bonus my ship, I just uh, cut down on the scanning time a bit. I make sure it's not too expensive, though, <laughs> because I lose, uh, I lose stuff too often. We can't have that. Normal. Oh, that's good. See, nice and efficient. Alright, this one's closer. Go for this one next. And that's what you do next. That and uh, uh, any skills that help uh, scanning on this character. Because he's not my main, so he doesn't have all the uh, scanning skills up. I think they're all up to four. So, and the fifth one, level five, is like 24 days. <laughs> it's like an entire, almost an entire month of Omega. Just trying to get the, the scanning... Um, I think it's Rangefinder, I think. That one, up to five. But am I able to get by if, uh, with uh, some implants? Let's take a look real quick. I was looking at that before. Implants, boosters. What would it be? Uh, not navigation. Scanning implants. Not deviation. No, not deviation. Uh, scanning time. That's useful. I can buy like all the cheap versions of them if they have them, just to make everything easier. The scan strength. I'm assuming these would be ridiculously expensive. Virus coherence. Black glass. Interesting. 
I mean, I can just buy like, like a full set of the cheapest ones. <laughs> just make everything easier. Keep that in mind for next time. That's all we'll do. Because I'm going to end up losing this pot at some point. Because misclicking and general shenanigans. Still nothing on D-Scan. Lots of people, but nothing on D-Scan. Well, lots of wormholes. Which I guess is good, because I don't want to be here too long finagling in data sites, I guess. My main goal is to check out that uh, that gate, because that's going to look pretty sweet. And the art team has been really doing fantastic work. So I want to see that in person. Which one is closer? I think... I think it's that one down there. Let's put it down there. Closer down there, see if we can get it. I think it's that one, though. Something I'm not sure how far away this is of this. <laughs> but I think this is closer. I should just put it on that one. Yep, we were right. It's always the celestial. That's usually the rule. I'm assuming that's a coding thing. It does make scanning a little predictable, though. So maybe... Maybe... I'm not, it might be legacy code shenanigans, though. I'm not sure they want to touch that. But CCP has been doing a lot of uh, a lot of pretty interesting stuff, so I'm assuming they got a lot of that code figured out. I know for a lot, many many years, uh, you know, trying to touch any like core system in the game was like 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 dangerous. <laughs> you can just like, topple the whole game because uh, a lot of it wasn't documented well when they first made the game. But I think they really nailed that down at this point. A data site. Okay, is it a, a one I can run, though? Not. Oh, I already got the... I'm assuming it is, because usually the sleeper ones take a, a huge, much much more uh, scan strength to scan down. Do you find out what it is? We'll find out if that's right. We have a catalyst on D-Scan. I was got to be careful with... Uh, Systems in low sec or any uh, anywhere, obviously, but uh, where people have been here for a while, they might have this, these sites actually scanned down. Okay. It's uh, a covert site. Huh. Covert is um, the kind that it go go boom. So, oh man, I'm getting all the all the trick sites. Should I try this? Nothing on D scan. It's a standard. Uh, I'm not sure what the, the lowest level is. And I'm not sure if you have to. Uh, I know if I if I blow this up, I will die. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. In the worst case scenario. Worst case scenario, we end up in a pod. <laughs> we'll, we'll pod over. I'm not sure if the site will kill the pod, though. We'll get there one way or the other. Let's let's see if I don't die. We'll click at D-Scan. Let's go in. I guess at zero. Guess, oh, just do, do, try to do one. Attempt to break in. Your crew will find yourself in a high situation. Okay. All right. All right. We will uh, pick one can. I don't have a scanner on me, so I can't choose, really. What's the closest one? Uh, they're all kind of close. Let's go to this one, I guess. Okay. Alright, we'll be very careful with the hack. Time is coming down, though. we got to hurry. Okay, we're good. Okay. All right, we gotta take this out. Oh, that was fast. <laughs> oh, there's nothing in here. <laughs> oh no. Uh, can we do one more? Can we do one more? Let's try to do one more. Of course, nothing is in there, cause that's my luck. All right, come on. 
try to get one more done for uh, the NPC show up and stuff going boom. Useful five. Okay, anything in this one? Good enough, we're out of here. Go to the safe. Go, go, go. <laughs> Get out of here. Uh, I'm not sure what the timer was. I forget the timer, so I wasn't sure. We got 16 million. So that's the best data site we'll ever get, probably. Man, those sites give you, <laughs> give, give me nervous. Uh, I forget what these are even for. Let's reload these. Nothing on D scan. So what do these do again? Oh, you use these to build all the uh, ascendancy stuff, all the um, things that make you warp faster. And what else did we get? Covert something? These one, covert reason. What do these do? Oh. Oh, interesting. Thucker stuff. So these are th uh, Thucker structure stuff. And the all faction stuff. Oh, cool. All right, well, <laughs> I was hoping, you know, at least get two cans, but one was empty. Oh, well, but 16 mil is still 16 mil. All right, nothing on D-Scan. So let's um, just jump through it, I guess. Nothing's there. I definitely have to um, figure out what the timer is on those. Because you get a good amount of money. But... I'm always I'm always guessing if I'm gonna die, so I, I want to have a good idea how much time I got, um, so I know how many cans I can finish. And those hacks weren't hard, and I got 16 million for it. So those hard actually covert ones are kind of hard to find. I actually haven't found one in a while. No one in local. One signature. All right, we'll do what we did last time. Oh, it's right there, over there, in front of us. Really nothing there. 26 nine. Maybe we should go to a hundred on this. We'll drop probes. We'll cloak up again. Ooh, yeah. And then when we get there, we will um, we'll just kind of ease off the gate while I'm scanning. We have an Atron. Three thousand. Oh, he warped off. Okay. So we'll go this way, just in case someone comes to the gate behind us. So he's a land on us. We'll go this way, and uh, hopefully as we, um, we scan, we'll be in warp range. Let's get back to scanning, though. Alright, let's see what this is. So, so far we had a standard <laughs> sleeper cache site. And then we've had a covert site. Pretty exciting sites. Unfortunately, I, w I wish it was a um, another one in local. Who's this? No one yet. Out of the gate. No, the gate didn't flash. I don't think. Oh, they, I didn't hear any noise. Oh, a luxury. Uh, those are neat. I still have one of these. I forget what it was for. What they gave it for, but they're actually pretty neat. If you fit them right, you put a lot of disk into it. They're a co uh, covert op. Interdiction nullified, and if you put really expensive um, uh, modules in it, you can make it go below two seconds. So it's practically untouchable unless you mess up. Okay. It doesn't have much cargo space, though. So you really can't. I think it's like it has ten though. It has something like ten cargo, like like a, like a shuttle. So I guess you could like stuff it full of blueprints or something silly. I'm assuming people have died that way, though. Okay, we're in low. No, no one's in local. ID scan out of habit at this point. Wormhole. Okay, so no go on that. We don't need that. Okay, no one's here. So let's just reload this while we can. Hit the. You know what? While I'm here, we'll make an off gate bookmark. Because why do we have caps lock on? Stop. Off gate. For what? A B U A U N E. Now we're 167. You lose 150 to warp to it, so we're good. There we go. I'll just go to it now. Warp drive active. 
So that way, if we ever come in the system again, we can just warp to this bookmark instead of uh, right to it. Alrighty. Then we're going to look again. That's good. And lots of signatures. Matter of fact, this one's already in D-scan range. Um, let's go to this customs office, I guess. So I got 100 this time. Again, routine, drop probes, cloak up. There's a lot of signatures here. I'm, I'm assuming a lot of these are combat sites. I'll try to get in the middle. Kind of in the middle. Let's see how much, much info we get off of these. And so we're still within a uh, D scan range of this. So I'll always take a look at that. Oh, I got a, a bu Oh, they're really clustery. Ooh, that might be good. See what we can get. Hopefully, get some uh, good amount of information to to ignore a bunch of these. Combat site. You got a data site. Can I move this to get a bit more? Uh, wait. I'll get rid of these two. Ignore. Ignore. There we go. That's good. Good chunk got taken out there. Um, can I move this ever so slightly? I don't know, can I? <laughs> it's like it's like trying to be super careful here. Should I don't lose any of the... Uh, I only have the one data site, so I guess the main goal is to get the rest of them. At least enough to... Okay, no one in local. I hit the scan again for no reason. Because <laughs> it's this point's reflexive. What? Are you serious? These are all data relic sites? <laughs> I, I can't be complaining, right? I'm just so close enough. <laughs> okay. Rick Bad Aza. All right, let's see what this one is at least. Man, these are all relic and data sites, man. Be busy. Maybe I'll just scan them all down and <laughs> and run them all. I don't know. We got a ooh, it's a Proteus. It's also a data site. Why is there all so many sites here? Has this Proteus been killing every explorer coming in here? <laughs> That's what it is. <laughs> paranoia, man. The paranoia is real. It's possible. He sits around here killing explorers in every one of these sites that come in. And none of them get run. Let's see here. Nope. I was looking for Rex, you know, the, the Strone, the Stro- Wait a second. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten. Oh, either way more. <laughs> I think, uh, I think we should bug out. He's scanning these. He's scanning stuff down. He might be trying to kill John, which is me. Uh, yeah, that's, 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 that's trouble. Let's pull ours back in. Yep, he's scanning stuff. Nope, not doing it. Not doing it. Uh, can he can he smart bomb with that thing? Right, let's just go for it. Let's get out of here. I'm not playing around with that. I was joking about him killing explorers, but he pulled the the core scanners out. I don't know. No, no, I want to see the gate. We're getting out of here. No, no. Hadley's. Hadley's. Old Man Star right there. Okay. Uh, let's take a look. Is there anything here? What is over here? Uh, I'm looking right at it. I think it's popping up. Oh. Is there a full station? Is that a station? No, it's nothing I can go to. So it's nothing really um, I can warp to. I guess I can warp to the station, I guess. Let's bounce off something, though. Let's bounce off. 
It's ceiling far away. Let's bounce off of this moon at 100. Cloak up. Watch out for that, uh, that Proteus guy. He probably should have cloaked up. I might have run those sites if I didn't know what it was. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> All right. So let's go to... Where is All Man Star? All right, well, let's go to 100 on this one now. We bounced off a planet. We're going to uh, we're gonna hit the station at 100. Active. But at an angle, not gate to gate. Just to be safe. I doubt anyone's waiting on there. But you also don't want to land on someone that's also doing what I'm doing. Diplomatic shuttle. Oh, right there. Okay. I still cloak though. Problem is, until this guy warps off, I don't want to. Um... Oh, it's right next to Old Man Star. It's actually on grid with it. Okay. Uh, where is he at? Oh, he's just he's, he's tethered. Uh huh. What part of what group is he part of? Effort. I have no idea who those are. Um, if I gotta reload probes, maybe I can make a bookmark. Something close. That's what's close to this. That's actually the closest thing right there. Four, forty-six. All right, we'll get the bookmark ready because I don't want him to see me decloak. I'm not sure if he's active or he went to get a sandwich or something. We'll make a safe. I'm gonna warp to this moon at a hundred, and then when we hit about, I gotta keep an eye on Old Man Star there, so we're not out of uh, out of D scan range. Let's see, still in. Ooh, there we go. I think I did it right before we got too far away. We we'll go back to there, and then we can uh, reload probes and everything. A little farther away from that. Um, that for uh, Fortazar. All right, we don't want to die this close <laughs> from where I want to end up. And we in D scan range? Oh, just out of D scan range. I guess it's fine. Worst case scenario, we bounce back there. I was hoping to get these can range in there too, so I wouldn't have to uh, bounce off the station, but that's good enough. Nothing's on these can either. Okay. Let's reload probes. And we will drop them. And check this system before we go into Old Man Star. Alright. Uh, they're not quite close. We can try to get a little closer. I think I'm hearing the gate noise still. Is that normal? I think I am. <laughs> I think I'm hearing the gate noise in my headphone. I'm not sure you guys can hear it or not. That's weird. Um, okay. I'm not sure I can turn that off or not. I actually don't want to turn the gate noise off because I'm going to be watching a gate right now. I want to hear all the noises and stuff. A definitely gate noise though. Pretty sure there's a bug where the gate noise will follow you around. Let me see here. Audio. Warning sounds. Jump activation. Ship ambiance. Uh, let's see. UI. Yep. <laughs> it's got. That's strange. Maybe hopefully it's not too loud on your end. We actually got a bit more than I thought we would. But the problem is, is that they're still kind of spaced out. Ooh, that's a big jump. Nothing in D scan range. That's a big, big jump. Who are you? Strickland Professional. Is that who this is? Yep, looks like them. More than one. Three people. We have a pattern. All right. All right. I'm not sure what the what shenanigans are up to. Hopefully I'm not part of their shenanigans. 
Okay, it's uh, nothing on D-scan. Let's see how close we can get these down. No, let's just... I can't get all three. I'm gonna get these two. They're pretty close together. I was hoping to get all three, but... Sometimes it works, like the uh, last system we were in, and it saves you tons of time. Sometimes, it, you know, you gotta bite the bullet and just scan them all down. Data site, wormhole. Okay, data site may be useful. We gotta watch another covert site. <laughs> that one says there was a gold mine there. But as soon as I get in, the Proteus like, ooh, a target. We got a lot of people on local. Actually, I don't know how safe it actually is. Ooh, they're emptying out. Would be a shame to die right here, but man, that uh, I think was a lot. Is that four data, three data sites, and two relics? That was pretty nice. Pretty nice. All right, everyone. Most people jumped out. We're down from what's down eight or seven. Serpentis. Okay, because technically we yeah we're in uh, in Glenty space now. So you see Serpentis rats. Maybe if I warp, it'll stop. Let's go to a hundred on this because I'm a little spooked by the. I don't see him in here. Oh, actually, he is in here. There he is. <gasps> that sneaky Proteus. I was him, I'd be cloaky too. Yeah, I can't trust this. I can't trust any of these sites he comes into anymore. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, we'll take a look at the site at least. So, this is supposed to be a Serpentis site. So, it kind of looks like a Galenti station, kind of. A secret hideout, very secret, of course. Let's take a look at these. Yeah, they have the skin on them. I, I think they're black, right? Hard to tell with the shadows. I still hear the gate, though. The gate is omnipresent now. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I know I know. this is the guy that... Uh, that I think he kind of followed me in here, right? He was scanning, right? Maybe he's looking for... I'm not sure if you write combat sites in a Proteus, though. I never, I never took it as a good, uh, a good uh, ship to run, uh, you know, uh, DED sites with, which is the only reason I can see him deploying probes. Other than maybe looking for a wormhole, maybe. There's a bunch of wormholes there, so my main think, my main thought is he's looking, trying to kill explorers. All right, that didn't work. That's a little bigger, maybe. Yeah, all these sites are suspect now. <laughs> Since he walked in here. This guy this guy here too, I think he was in the other system too, right? Uh, maybe. I don't know. I'm just looking for looking for trouble now. Everywhere I go. I think this is the one because it's the closest, I think. Make a small. I think it's that one. We'll make a smaller on that one. Coercer. Wormhole. Okay. I don't think I'm gonna run this site. I think we should try to um, go to Old Man Star and take a look at that gate. I think. I think we're done. Especially with this guy in the system. I think he is uh, definitely um, the type. So if we if we bounce off that Forger Star like we did, um, where is it? Hold on, let's go look at this. That's how we saw it last time. Look at, we'll just bounce off this Forger Star again, and at that point we can see the gate and also warp to it. We'll go to what a hundred, so nothing. We don't bump into anybody because this is not a friendly Forger Star. Once we're there, we'll just take a look at the gates. At least we'll be in one piece. I think there's a high sec connection in Old Man Star. I think we can jump right into high sec from there. I 
Nothing on D-scan. Nothing on the gate. So we're going to go for it. All right. Let's take a look. Jump. Come on. Do it. You can do it. I believe in you. Can I start the reload? Nope. <laughs> Ooh, lots of people. No one on gate, though. All right. So let's, uh... It's the Valor gate, I believe. Yeah, actually the same spot. Um, I think if we go to look at the Valor gate, we'll get to it anyway. I think it's just the uh, landmark beacon they added. So let's take it. Let's go with this at a hundred. We'll cloak up. So we'll just bounce off. I'm not sure how gate campy it is. Valor is 0 0.5. So if any gate's going to be camped in the system, will be that one. Hadley's. I love saying the word Hadley's. It's just fun to say. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. Um, let's, let's try to find this. We know where this is coming from here. We're going to uh, drop the angle down uh, to, a, to a 5. And we're going to hold hold spacebar, which is mine, and hit the velour gate. Oh, it looks like they're there, man. Yeah. Yeah, they got a Tornado, Gnosis, Dracovic. Okay. What else we got here? Um, there's a fortress out there. A black? Oh, okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. We can go to this one, right? Let's look at it. Yep, it's there. I guarantee it's on grid. We can jump on that one, I think, right? It's in... I think we can go to... Let's go to this one. I think we're okay to use it. Hopefully we don't get tornado to death. But if we get tethered, we can look at the gate. Right? Well, actually, they're on. They're on here. I see. I see. They're not on the gate. I'm tethered, right? Please tell me I'm tethered. Tether? Yes. Dock. Okay. I'm gonna dock up, get out, and then I won't die, right? <laughs> I can dock. So I'm assuming I can, I can tether. Get rid of the gate noise. Get rid of the gate noise. Oh my god. Uh, maybe it did. I don't know. Am I tethered? Can I tether or not? Oh jeez. I don't know if I'm tethering. Please tether me. I'm going to warp, I guess. I am tethered. Okay. I'm going to cloak up on the way. Oh, it's kind of not very safe, but they don't have any fast tackle. <laughs> so, I think we're okay. Oof, that is a, that's pretty mean. That's a mean camp for anyone jumping in here. I'm pretty sure, I, I'm pretty sure my, one of my other characters, might be in this one. Because this is a lengthy camp. I might have died to a gay camp in here. Alright, I think we're safe. We're moving. Alright, let's take a look at this gate. Huh? That's the Valor gate. Let's take a look. And yeah, that is that is nice. Look at that. Yeah, it looks just like the Chronicle. So in the Chronicle, you had to like use, like built it into the asteroid belt to make it work. And man, that looks cool. It has even like stabilized it to like these asteroids. Can you see drones or no? Because I know in the Chronicle they use drone. Use a, a bunch of little drones to keep it working. And there's the ship, I think. Oh, there's the ship in the Chronicle. I think that's it. That is neat. Look at that. Wow, that's awesome. That is fantastic. So you see the ship he uh, he slammed the <laughs> he's got that he you they got uh, that he used. 
That's pretty cool. That's awesome. That's fantastic. Great work. And of course, in great uh, old man store fashion, it is camped. That is a. I love this. It looks so cool. Now, hold on. Let's take a look. Is there like info on this or? Oh, there is. I'm not like running into them. No, I'm not. Oh, there is. This is fantastic. This is great. So anyone can look at this. And I don't think it's the full. Uh, I think the actual Old Man Star uh, Chronicle is much longer, but it looks like it gives you a very, a very like good synopsis of it. Pretty close. Oh, that's awesome. That's just fantastic. So yeah, you can come to Old Man Star, go to the Valor Gate, avoid the gate camp, of course, and take a look at it because this is one of a kind, guys. This is awesome. Just fantastic. Oh, you can take a look at it here too. Oh, <laughs> you can take a look at it here too. It's not as not as cool when it's not activated though. It's a bit different, you know. So there you go. So yeah, it's in the Old Man Star, the system. Just type type it in and head to the Valor Gate carefully. Because it is a high sec to a low sec connection, so a lot of times it's camped. But uh But it is pretty cool. It looks pretty awesome. And uh, I'm, uh, it looks like CCP is really focusing on um, adding unique stuff into the game like this that's really uh, connected to the lore. And uh, I'm, really, I'm really curious to find the, uh, exploring to the other spots too they've added. Like they added like a bunch of other, like, um, what was they called? Chord, Chord of Elements or something. And uh, I think one in Sancho Space too. I forget the names of them off the top of my head. But I want to go there. I want to go to the New Eden Gate again. Um, and it just looks awesome. Really good work. And if you're interested in the lore uh, or unique spots in the game, this is definitely worth going to. So that's it, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Like the video, of course. Leave a like. Like the content, of course. Subscribe. And fly safe. And fly brave.